a very warm welcome to all my little friends old as well as new on our channel curiosity hive i hope you've subscribed to this channel if not quickly click on the subscribe button and also the bell icon next to it so that you can get notifications of our new videos well in today's session we are going to look at the concepts for maths for grade 2 which are very popular questions in your school as well as competitive exams. We'll brush up the concepts, understand the questions asked and then we'll throw at you 7 tricky questions which you need to solve all by yourself and then you can score yourself. So let's get started with this. So today we are going to go through the concept of knowing your numbers. Here we will cover the 5 topics as listed here, the number types, order of numbers, place value of digits in a number, the expanded form and the largest and smallest numbers. So let's start with our first concept which is the number system. Well the number system contains 10 digits starting from 0 to 9. And here what we need to identify which we will be tested against are the type of numbers. Even numbers are numbers that are ending with 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. Odd numbers are those numbers that end with 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. That is these numbers appear in the ones place of the entire number. And lastly is the ordinal. Ordinal are the position names for example 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th etc. So let's look at some questions pertaining to these concepts that we just discussed. So our first question coming up is The lifespan of four animals is given below. Which of the following animals lives for an even number of years? Let's look at this together. Now even number as we discussed are the numbers ending in 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8 and of the given options it is 70 which is an even number hence the right answer that which of the following animals lives for an even number of years is option B elephant. Let's head to the next question which is also testing this concept. It reads the train shows the number of passengers in each compartment. The compartment are numbered 1 to 7 and the number above shows the number of the passengers on each compartment. Which compartment has highest odd number of passengers? Well, let's look at this together. Now, let's first mark the odd numbers. Now, let's write odd numbers are numbers ending in 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Based on these principles, our odd numbers are 97, 93, 101 and 95. And clearly the greatest number will be the 3 digit number that is 101 which is on the 5th compartment. And hence the right answer is option B, 5th compartment. Let's head to our second concept which reads order of numbers. Now the order of numbers means the arrangement of numbers which is either ascending that is starting from a smaller number and increasing order to a higher number or descending which is starting from a higher number and then decreasing down to the smallest number. So to illustrate this further let's look at the numbers arranged from smaller to greater along the staircase. Now the person moving from smaller to greater is moving in the ascending order and the person moving from greater to smaller is the downward direction which is the descending order. And the ascending order has the next number in the series which is always greater than the previous number and in case of descending order the next number in the series is always lesser than the previous number. So based on this, let's look at some of the questions. The first question here is, Chiku, a rabbit, 
found some torn pages of his book. Help in arranging them in the correct order. These are some pages with the numbers and choose the right option from the given A, B, C and D. So let's see what we need to do here is we need to arrange them in correct order of the book that would be in ascending order which is smaller to greater number. So let's arrange this well from this. 15 is the first smallest number, 49 is the next smallest number, then as we move ahead 65 is the third smallest number and 84 is the fourth smallest number. So this order is similar to the order given in option D which is our right answer. Let's look at another question which is testing this concept. Ira needs to arrange the books in descending order of their number of pages. Can you help Ira with the order of the books given below? Here are some books and the number of pages are given for each books and we need to arrange them in descending order. The options are given here. Well here descending order means starting from a greater number going down to the smallest number. So here if we arrange we see the greatest number is 753 which would be the first number in the series in the descending order. Next well let's look at the hundreds only. Well, it is 398 which is next in the series. The third descending order will be 272. The fourth one would be 150. Fifth one would be 100. And sixth one will be our two digit number which is 85 pages. Hence the order would be D, then E, then C, then F, then B and then A. And this order D, E, C, F, B, A is our option C. So this is how we approach the descending order questions. Now we look at the concepts of place value and expanded form. Now what is a place value in a given number? Well, it is a value of the digit based on its position in the given number. For example, if we take a 4 digit number like 4 to 1 8, the place value is the unit where the number is placed. For example, the place value for 8 is 1s, place value for 1 is 10s, for 2 it's 100s and for 4 it is 1000s, making it 4218. Now let's look at the relative concept of expanded form. Now this expanded form means writing a number by showing value of each of the digit. For example, let's consider 4218 in our previous concept explanation. Now how we expand this? Well 4000 is 4 times 1000 which is 4000. Then 200 will be 2 times 100 that is 200. 1 tens will be 1 times 10 which is 10. And 8 ones will be 8 times 1 which is 8. So this is how we write the expanded form of 4218 as 4000 plus 200 plus 10 plus 8. So we write the numbers multiplying them with their place values. So let's look at some questions in this area. Now Julia is reading a book. The book has 182 pages and below is a table that gives the names of the books and their number of pages written in expanded form. Which book is Julia reading? The options are given here. Well, the way to solve this is, we first will write what is 182 mean? So that is 182. So let's write it in a hundred tens and ones place, which is one in hundred, eight is 10 and two in ones. As we had just discussed, 
This is one time hundred. That is one hundred. This is eight times ten. That is eighty. And this is two time one. That is two. So this is the expanded form, and this value matches the number of pages for Cinderella. All the others do not count to 182. Hence, the right answer is option D, Cinderella. Let's look at another question which relates to this. Which of the following balance is correct? So we need to choose which of the balance has the same value of numbers on both sides of it. So let's look at this. Let's start with A. It has ten ones in the first block, so which is ten times one, that is equal to ten. And on the other block, it has two tens, which is two times ten, which is equal to twenty. Now ten is not equal to twenty, so we can eliminate option A. Let's head to the next one, which has twenty tens on one block, which is twenty times ten, that is equal to two hundred. And on the other block, it has Two ones, which is two times one, which is equal to two. Again, they both are not equal, so let's eliminate this option as well. Now, let me look at D, which says thirty tens, which is thirty times ten, which is equal to three hundred, and thirty ones, which is thirty times one, which is equal to thirty. Clearly, three hundred is not equal to thirty. So D is eliminated. Let's look at our only option left. Five hundred ones is five hundred times one, which is equal to five hundred. Let's look at the other side, which says fifty tens. So how this is to be multiplied? The two zeros come here, and then the five. So here we have both the left and right hand side showing five hundred. Hence, option B is your right answer. Now we'll head to the last concept, which is largest and smallest numbers. Now we will have a lot of questions asking us to choose the largest two-digit or three-digit number. But first, let's identify the largest and smallest single-digit number. So the largest single-digit number is nine, and smallest single-digit number is zero. Now let's see some examples of largest three digit and smallest three digit number. Well a largest three digit number so let's write the place values which will be hundreds tens and ones. So to get the largest three digit number we should have the largest single digit number in all of these place values. Hence this is the largest three digit number. For two digit number it will be two nines in both the place values that's how you come to the largest digit now let's look at the smallest digit so ideally it should be the smallest single digit number all along but the first digit cannot be zero followed by the zeros because this makes the value to be zero hence this number in hundreds place should be 1 which is a non zero number as the smallest three digit number will be 100 Similarly two digit will be 10 and four digit will be 1000 so the first digit needs to be the second smallest number followed by zeros to create the smallest number possible let's look at some of the questions based on this concept the first question is tina had few beads and she arranged the beads in the following manner in the abacus how many beads should she place in tens place to make the number as small as possible well if we look at this at hundreds it has four beads at ones it has three beads and we are looking to fill in a number in tens so if we add one bead here it will become 413 if we add two beads in tens place it will become 423 if we add three beads it becomes 433 And if we add no beads in the tens place, it is four hundred three. And of the four numbers, four hundred three is the smallest. Hence, the right answer is option B, which we have solved by putting the lowest number in the tens place. Let's look at another question testing the same concept. 
So the question goes like this: Amelia lost her cat. Her cat had a number printed on it. Use the clues to find the number on Amelia's cat. Clue one is the digit at hundreds place is the largest one digit number. Clue two is the place value of three in the number is three. Clue three is the place value of one in the number is the smallest two digit number. And these are the options given that we need to choose from. First of all, whenever we need to guess a three digit or two digit number, we should write the units for the number of digits. Since it's three digit, it will be hundreds. Tens and ones. Now let's go to the first clue, which says that the digit at hundreds place is the largest one-digit number. Now we know the largest one-digit number is nine. Well, if the hundreds place is nine for sure, then we can eliminate options D and A, starting with eight. The second clue reads that the place value of three is three. That means three times the place value is equal to three. And it is three times one, which is equal to three. It means three is in ones place. So our ones place will contain three. And the last clue says that the place value of one in the number is the smallest two-digit number. Now the smallest two-digit number with tens and ones will be one and zero. Hence, ten is the smallest two-digit number. So that means place value of one is tens because one times ten is ten. Hence one is in tens place, and ten will be one. Hence our answer is nine one three, which is option B. Now that we have gone through the concepts, it's the time for our super seven quiz. So bring on your paper pens and solve these seven questions and leave your answers in the comment section below. All the best. I hope you enjoyed this session. We'll look out for our next video for another concept that we'll brush up and we'll also try to solve questions related to that. So till we meet again, take care.